Welcome to British Biomedicine Institute. Today, I Dr. Pramod Khatri, Medical Director of British Biomedicine Clinical Trials, is going to represent a simple topic named as Guideline for Good Pharmacoepidemiological Practices. So, the main goal of GPP is to assist researchers in adhering to good pharmacoepidemiological research principles including the use of pharmacoepidemiologic studies for risk management activities whereas it also helps to promote sound pharmacoepidemiological research by increasing rigorous data collection analysis and reporting it also provides a framework for conducting and evaluating pharmacoepidemiological studies it also facilitate the appropriate utilization of technical resources by promoting careful study design and planning of study conduct. I hope you know the basic definition of a protocol. Basically, protocol is a descriptive title or it is basically a version identifier with the help of a date and all it, it consists of all the name title, degrees, addresses, affiliations of all the responsible parties including the principal investigator, co-investigator and a list of all the collaborating primary institutions and other relevant study sites. And there is also a presence of name and address of the sponsor. An abstract of the protocol is also available. The proposed study task milestones and timelines they are also mentioned inside the protocol inside a statement for research objective specific aim and rationale basically a research objective can be described as the knowledge or information which will be gained from a clinical study whereas the specific aim describes or exposes the outcome of interest and any of the hypotheses which will be evaluated. The protocol is been designed in order to assist or in order to help us in getting the limited number of research hypothesis data and this hypothesis data they can be generated based upon the knowledge of the source data. The rationale explain how a achieve, how achievement of a specific aim will further enhance our research objective inside the literature review it will be describing the specific gap of knowledge that the study is intended to fulfill whereas the literature review might encompass relevant animal and human experiments clinical studies vital statistics and previous epidemiological studies also. The literature review also cite the finding of similar clinical studies and expected contributions to the current study also. Inside a description of research method, it will include overall research design strategy and reason for choosing the proposed study design. Whereas the research design includes, for example, a case, case studies, case control, cohort, cross-sectional design, nested case control, safety trials, and even hybrid design. The population or the sample which will be investigated or which will be studied includes a person, a place, time period, and selection criteria. Whereas the main rationale for these inclusion and exclusion criteria and their impact on the number of subjects available for analysis should also be described. If any sampling for a base population is undertaken, the description of the population or detail of sampling method should also be provided. Inside the data, basically, there will be a strategies and source data sources which are used to determine the exposure, health outcome, and all other variables which are relevant to the clinical study, such as your potential co-founding variables or your 
effect major modifier also in this we can use uh, questionnaires hospital discharge files abstract of primary clinical records electronic medical records ad hoc clinical databases eligibility files prescription data uh, drug files biological measurements exposure or work history record review or exposure or disease registries also can be used we can also use validated instruments and measurements whenever such exist and it will also describe the validation method if a data collection method or instrument will be tested inside a pilot study then we can plan for pilot study it should be described in a proper format under your operational uh, there will be a clear operational definitions for health outcome uh, exposures and other major risk factors as well as selection criteria and comparison groups an operational definition is that the one which can be implemented independently using the data available in the proposed clinical study for example pneumocystis carney pneumonia episode is not an operational definition a better description would be hospitalization with the primary discharge diagnosis of icd 9 cm code 136.3 whereas in the projected study size the statistical prescription and the basis of the determination can be used and it will help in describing the relationship between the specific aim of a study and the projected study size in relation to each outcome in most circumstances it is desirable to express the study goal in terms of precision sought for clinical study estimates rather than the statistical power and for uh, safety studies basically it is useful for specific sample size that can minimally detect a pre specified risk with a pre specified power for example the study has a 80% power to detect the relative risk rr of the three or greater for x drug which is compared with the treatment with other drug commonly used for that particular disease or particular condition there are various methods which can be used in assembling the clinical data this should include a description or a reference to any pre testing procedures for research instruments or for any manuals or formal training which will be provided for interviewer abstractor coder or data entry personnel this should also include procedure for linkage data mining of administrative databases so under your uh, procedure for data management basically it will describe the data management and statistical power of the and hardware which can be used to study in which can be used in a clinical study it will also helps us in describing the data preparation or analytical procedures as well as the methods for data retrieval and collection and in the method of data analysis basically it will include all the major steps which lead to raw data to a final result including methods which are used to correct inconsistencies or errors impute values or modifying raw data data analysis com uh, comprise basically a comparison and method for analyzing and preventing results categorization and pro procedures to control source of the bias the statistical method or procedure will be applied to the clinical data which is used to obtain point estimates and confidence interval of the measures of occurrence or in association for an uh, instance which will be presented and if there is any sensitivity analysis it will also be described under your uh, description of quality assurance or quality control procedure for all the phases of the study basically a mechanism will be used which will ensure 
that the clinical data quality and integrity is being maintained or described including for example abstraction of original documents extent of source data verification and validation of endpoints as appropriate it will include certification and or qualifications for any supporting laboratory or research group the main limitation of study design or data source or analytical methods are basically uh, at a minimum the issue will be related to co-founding misclassification selection bias generalability and random error which will be considered and the likely success of efforts taken to reduce error should also be discussed and implemented under the description of plan for protecting human subjects basically this selection should include information about whether the study subjects will be at risk or not there will also be a provision for maintaining confidentiality of information of on study subjects and potential circumstances and say it will also safeguard under which identifiable personal information may be provided to entity outside the clinical study there is a need for submitting the protocol to an institutional review board uh, ethics committee or irb or iec and the requirement of informed consent should be considered in accordance with the applicable law under the description of plan for this disseminating and communicating study results it will include the presence or absence of any restrictions on the extent and the time of publication and there is an unethical or ethical obligations which is used to disseminate the finding of potential scientific or public health in importance uh, for example result which are pertaining to the safety of the of a marketed medication there are various resources which are required to conduct the study basically it will be the time personal services database access and equipments basically these are required to conduct the study including a brief description of the role of each of the persons personal assigned to the research project and at the last there will be a bibliographic references under the data which is been amended in, inside the protocol if there is a specific deviation inside the protocol uh, such as any changes in the population or a sample size where that were implemented after the beginning of the study along with the rationale should be documented in writing only if there are any changes in data analysis that should also be documented and rationale should be provided and it can also be notified to the respective ethics committee under the responsibilities personal facilities uh, e source commitment and under contractor the main responsibilities are if a pharmaceutical com uh, com uh, contract with a particular university then the contract arrangement should include a timeline of study completion and contingency plan if the timeline cannot be met in particular the contract should delineate the roles and the responsibilities of the assumed by the study sponsor and the contractor in communicating various aspect of the study as well as data assess ownership and archiving whereas under the source commitment if there is a sufficient commitment then it should be made at the beginning of each clinical study to ensure timely and proper completion and for contractor basically uh, the main purpose is to ensure and document the contractor conformance with gpp it is recommended that the study sponsor have the right during the course of clinical study and for a reasonable period following completion of the study uh, it will be used to inspect the con uh, contractor facilities including equipments technical records reports related to the work conducted under the sponsor contract the nature of audit 
including procedures that ensure patient confidentiality should be agreed upon the outset of any contract. Under the study conduct, basically the analysis should be clearly defined with the, all the statistical procedures which are presented. All the data management and statistical analysis programs and packages used inside the data analysis should be documented and archived. Reasonable efforts should be made to document and validate interim steps in the analysis. The analysis should be directed toward unbiased estimation of the epidemiological parameters of interest and like for example your risk or rate difference, risk or rate ratio. The precision of effect estimate should be quantified separately under confidence interval. Interpretation of statistical measure including confidence interval should be tempered and appropriate judgment and acknowledgement of potential source of error and limitation of the analysis and there should be it and should never be taken as a sole or rigid basis for concluding that there is or not a relation between an exposure and the outcome. If there is an adverse event report, then in, the, in all pharmacoepidemiological studies, there has to be an assessment of relationship between certain exposures and health outcome based on aggregate analysis. It is generally not possible or appropriate to assess the casualty of individual cases. Although aggregate analysis of a series of case study cases might identify newly recognized adverse effects. If there is a adverse event report, then the case reporting is generally required when a study prospectively gather clinical data on individual patients. The study involved direct contact with subjects. The study personals are trained on gathering and reporting adverse events. A serious event is identified by someone who has direct contact with the subject. The event is considered unexpected and the reporter believes that the casualty cannot be ruled out. Under the archiving, basically the study protocols and all approved modifications should be implemented and a final report of the clinical study is been submitted to the respective ethics committee and the raw data that provided the basis of final analysis of the clinical study if there is a should be re-edited or re-analyzed and again if it can be submitted to the ethics committee there has to be a these have to be documented adequately in order to identify and alloc locate all the computer programs and statistic statistical procedures which were used inside the clinical study if <coughs> electronic versions of analytics data sets and programs like your computer printout if feasible including relevant execution code which form the basis of any table graph discussion or interpretation in the final report any manually developed calculations should be documented on a worksheet and similarly must be retained. All the correspondence which are pertaining to the clinical study uh, like your SOPs, informed consent, copies of all the relevant representative materials, uh, copies of signed IRB or other reviewer reports, copy of all the quality assurance reports and audits, uh, communications of study results to the sponsor, regulator and scientific communities should be archived in a proper format. A lot of work, but work is important. Basically, the product of observation research is often open to debate, but it is nonetheless used in real time for therapeutic decisions, product availability, patient safety, cost and profit, institutional pressure, advocacy and litigation, whereas uncertainties are inevitable, but it can eliminate those which are under the control. 
So I hope you have gained a lot of clinical information through this presentation. Please like, share, subscribe our YouTube channel named as British Biomedicine Institute. Good luck. Goodbye.